welcome back to another week of Art Life. In this week's episode, we're actually remaking last week's episode. Uh, we've got a lot of new camera gear and audio equipment that's just arrived for Art Life. Now we've got 5,000 subscribers, amazing. Uh, but it does mean we've had some technical glitches. A few of you might have seen this week, some dodgy videos going up. We've taken them down and I'm gonna remake it now. Uh, so thank you for your patience. So basically the video I'd made last week, Michael Harding has sent me a new box of their Miracle Medium new collection. And basically it was me opening everything, getting really excited like it was Christmas. Um, so I think barely any of that footage is salv salvageable. I'm sure Rafe might be able to scrounge a few clips together and figure out how excited I was to receive all of these goodies. Um, but basically I am a Michael Harding ambassador as an artist. They've always supported my career um, and we have been to the factory to see how the oil paint was made. If you haven't seen that video, please do check it out. Um, but I don't want to make this video like a plug for Michael Harding. That's not what art life is about. I'm just sharing with you that these are the paints I use in my art practice and um, they've always really supported me as a painter since I was an art student. A lot of you may know my wall of paint, uh, which I'm very proud of. Um, and I realized a couple um, of these tubes I still had when I was an art student, they're still there uh, from different kind of colors I was experimenting with. And also I found tubes of paint from really successful paintings whenever um, I, have a painting that I love or I have a real journey with and I just go through and I finish paints when I'm doing that painting. I kind of keep the paint tube as like a nostalgic and I kind of remember which painting it was. Okay, so what we've got here, um, first of all, I have uh, my paints for the next painting project I'm going to do. Um, all that's missing is a green and a blue, which I already had. This is basically a classical painting set. Lots of very transparent, kind of pigments, rose madder, raw umber, genuine Naples, uh, light yellow, which is my favorite yellow, warm white and a permanent orange. So I will be doing more about the kind of color scheme and kind of mixing and blending for my new painting uh, in the coming episodes. Now, the mediums themselves, um, we have the non-absorbent acrylic primer. Now, this is what I put down on my canvases, my raw white canvas before I start painting, because uh, I don't like working on raw white kind of canvas as a colour. I find it too bright and distracting. I'm also, when I'm mixing my palette, I'm actually mixing my colours uh, on wood. I'm not mixing it on a pure, brilliant white uh, tear, away, tear away palette because I find the mid-tone of the wood just much more helpful to get a kind of truer identity of what the colour is going to look like. If I do work on pure white canvas, I would work on a white tear away palette just because then you get accuracy. Uh, with the colours that you're mixing. Um, we have done some videos about that with colour mixing and palettes. Please go and check those out and refresh your memory if you've forgotten them. Um, but it's always just nice to kind of talk about when you're talking about the way that priming a canvas is really important. If you have a good primed canvas, you're setting yourself up for a good painting. And that's always a really key thing to remember. How you prime your surface gives you as much support as possible to lay the groundwork for the painting to come. So this is a lovely, okay, it's closed. It's a lovely, okay. So the Miracle Medium collection, brand new. I've never tried it. I don't really know what to expect, particularly with the title being Miracle Medium. Is this going to be a miraculous product that's going to basically rejuvenate my painting process, reinvent paintings which have been going wrong for me? If I use these mediums and glazes and waxes, what is going to happen? I have no idea and I'm very excited to use them and share with you my findings on Art Life next week. Um, so what we've got here, first of all, we have the Miracle Medium Oil Paint Medium, which I've done some research and Basically, this whole collection is plant-based, odorless, and solvent-free. They're basically, they're wanting to work with people's ethics and ethos. Like now, we don't want to be working with very heavy turpentines. A lot of us are painting in our homes now if we don't have studios, like, or if we're just kind of wanting to work on the go. We don't want to be kind of like working with these heavy-duty mediums. This looks like a kind of very convenient range. So I think the uh, Miracle Medium Oil Paint that's a, the equivalent to the pale linseed oil, the refined oil that I use to blend in with my oils, to thin them out. 
to add with that kind of luster of the medium. Uh, it helps also with transparency um, and the gloss. It accentuates the gloss of oil. Um, so it won't cause yellowing. This is what I'm really excited about with the Miracle Medium to try out. Uh, I use pale linseed oil because if you use normal linseed oil, your oils will go quite yellow, uh, particularly over time. So apparently this one doesn't do that. Um, so very exciting to try that out. Um, okay, so the Miracle Medium next to it itself. Uh, this I think is the um, replacement for the turpentine or the odorless solvent, uh, which enhances paint flow. I often use this kind of medium uh, to clean my brushes or at the beginning to do thin terpsy layers at the beginning of an oil painting. Um, this one is biodegradable and non-flammable. Uh, so I think the fact that it's non-toxic really appeals to me and I'm so excited to use it to also see how um, just not only the odor but also just to see if the kind of flexibility of it, if it acts exactly the same as turpentine or if it also does different stuff with the oil paint as it mixes. So quite excited about that as well. Um, so these three products here now are the ones I'm the most unsure of and the most excited to try. Uh, so first of all, I kind of want to talk about the medium beeswax paste. Um, so basically a beeswax paste is what you'd add as you're mixing your oil to enhance the impasto. Now impasto means texture. It's going to be a very, it's very high oil, oily content. So it's going to give a sort of satin matte finish. It always looks like, I mean, it looks like honey to me um, or like butter or something like I'm going to add this to my medium to kind of, oh, to increase the body. Um, I think it will also um, challenge me to work more with texture. I've been doing very smooth paintings. Maybe I need to start doing thick, juicy, kind of chunky paintings. Um, Monet was famous for this. He often would do huge layers of impasto for his water lily uh, paintings before he would then go over the paintings um, at the end with colour because they're, they're so deep and so thick. That's not all paint. Often it was impasto beneath the oil to kind of give the kind of illusion of luster and depth and texture um, because it would just cost so much money to use that much paint, particularly in those times. Uh, so that's when impasto gets really interesting and it makes a painting feel very juicy and I just want to touch it. Tactile is the word I'm looking for. So now on to these two. So here we have the Miracle Medium Resin Oil Wax. Um, okay, so this is a mixture of the pure beeswax uh, but with some of the viscous linseed stand oil and dama varnish. So it's, I think this is also for a satin sheen and an impasto effect. Um, I feel like it's gonna be, a, again, very lustrous. It's gonna make my paints feel like they have an extra layer of shine and um, almost in the way that you glaze, when you're working with glazes, you add a sense of richness and luminosity. So when I'm doing my landscapes and I want to capture light, I feel like this is gonna be amazing and it's gonna make it feel very realistic. So I think that'll be a really fun one to play with. Um, but again, I don't know too much about it. Uh, I will learn as I'm making these art life videos and share with you my findings so you can, we can do it together. And finally, the quick drying dama glaze. Now this is also very helpful uh, because a dama glaze I usually use at the end of a painting to glaze and varnish and to kind of finish a painting, to seal it, to protect it. Um, again, it gives so much depth with the high level of gloss. Um, you often would mix that with a solvent, like a terps to thin it out and you would We've done an episode on this um, glazing with Art Life, um, but it says on the back here, it's going to, um, it's made using dissolving dama crystals in Michael Harding Miracle Medium, and you combine with a stand oil. So it actually gives you the recipe of what to do. So it's gonna be about the gloss, this one, really fun. But the fact that it's quick drying, maybe I could apply that to some of my paintings which have not been drying. It's the depths of winter still here in England, and it's taking a long time for me to be working on my paintings because they're just not, they're not drying fast enough. So maybe adding a kind of glaze medium like this might just snap things awake and help me progress my work because my t studio time is much kind of is so precious at the moment. Looking after a baby, I'm working around his sleeps, uh, so maybe trying to play with more mediums might activate my painting practice in a whole new way. Um, I love the kind of ethos behind the plant-based, odorless, um, kind of 
eco products. I think that's a really good direction to head in any way with art materials, that kind of awareness of the environment. And that is something I'm quite passionate about. And I'm sure you are too, if you're watching. Uh, so if you want to tune in next week, I will be playing with all of these, trying them out, experimenting with the colors, just seeing what happens and what we find as we work with them in my painting. So I hope you have just enjoyed catching up on this episode. I'm sorry you didn't get it last week, but hopefully that's conveyed everything that I originally said in the last episode that we lost. Um, if you have any questions, please do leave some comments below. A few of you got in contact with me about it actually on Instagram on at Jess Oliver Art. Love that because I always find that really easy to just talk with you in the day when I'm in my studio. Um, do like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and yeah, I will see you next week, guys, for the Miracle Medium experiment. Uh, until then, I hope you have a good week and I will catch you next time. Bye.